Well, hello, uh, YouTubers. Um, it's me, Swinkid100, back again after about uh, six months, I believe. Um, so quite a, uh, a long time to be off the the tube. Um, so quite a few things just to catch up on. Um, our first thing I want to say really is um, that for those of you who have um, subscribed, thank you very much. And um, I haven't really kept up with replying to um, comments particularly well. And I, I apologise for this. I'd, I'd like to reply um, in more detail and more often where I can. But um, as is very usually the case with a lot of people, time is very short, um, always very busy. So. I apologise if I haven't got back to you, um, but uh, I do read all your comments and I've been watching um, lots and lots of uh, clips on YouTube, probably more than I do watch television. Um, and there's been some marvellous uh, um, videos that people have posted, I've, so I've really been enjoying it. So anyway, um, I've got two pipes to show you. and. Um, I'm just going to uh, uh, let you know um, the tobaccos I've been smoking recently and that I've been most enjoying. But I think first of all what I'll do is show you um, a couple of pipes that I've recently got hold of. Um, both uh, both estate pipes, um, both in reasonable condition but requiring a little bit of uh, uh, tension. Um, so the first one is, um, as far as I can tell, an unbranded, um, quite large, bold pipe, it, but with the most striking grain. Um, I apologise for not being able to show you that very well in this light, but that's not too bad there. Um, Yes, yeah, a very very nice pipe. Um, it's just it is labelled as a giant, and I think it's it just says London made. Um, so uh, um, it's got uh, an acrylic stem, um, but it's a fairly good chunk of briar, and it smokes lovely. Um, really pleased with that. I say the grain is very good all the way around. Um, especially on the um, on the stem, on the shank there, it's it's just um, almost like tiger stripes in some places. And then there's bird's eye around here. Um, it's very good. There's no serious fills. Um, just a lovely grain. Really pleased with that. And I picked that up. Um, oh, I think it was probably about eight pounds or so. Um, at a vintage fair, so that's that one. I'm really pleased with that. And in that, I just to mix things up a little bit, I have been smoking some um, Samuel Gallif. Um, I can get that in. Uh, I don't know whether that will come out properly. Um, chocolate flake, uh, which. It's reasonable. Um, it's it's one of the um, uh, well, it's the only chocolate flavoured um, blend I've tried. I, I enjoy it because of the flake. It's it's a nice slow burning tobacco, quite quite stout, quite um, fairly strong for me. Um, and if if you smoke it carefully, you do get the, the sort of the cocoa taste, and it. it's quite nice. I like it. So I've been uh, enjoying that in this this new um, chappy here. Um, I don't really know what sort of sort of bowl shape you would call that, really. Um, well, perhaps you could tell me. Um, so that's that one there. Yeah, I'd like to know what. I mean, I suppose would you call that a poker? Probably not. Um, it's sort of a tulip-shaped bowl. Um, so anyway, that's that one. Um, I will be doing. There's just round the round the rim. You can just see there; it's it is quite badly sort of singed and, and blackened. So I'd like to try and clean that up a bit if I can. So that's that one, um, and the second one, which I'm really pleased with, um, I managed to pick this up um, for twelve pounds. 
is an American pipe and it is a K Woody and I think you would call that a pot um, a rather large pot in fact um, and again with this one also you can see around the rim um, it is quite um, blackened um, and it will require a bit of attention just to clean up but this this I think judging by the style of the K Woody logo I think this might be 70s 1970s I think again the grain is just I think that you class that as a flame a flame grain maybe but it's it's marvellous um, and for the for the money I paid I was really very very delighted with this and again it's a fair old chunk of brighter with a, a vulcanite stem um, which does need a little bit of a uh, bit of a clean up got a reasonable shine to it so um, That's uh, really very pleasing. Um, I haven't decided what to smoke in that one yet. Um, thinking, uh, I'm not sure. Um, knowing me, it would probably be some St. Bruno or maybe some um, other sort of Virginia blend of some sort. Um, I haven't quite decided yet. So that's pipes. Um, as I say, I will be doing some work on those and I think I will do another film um, with some before and afters so um, yeah I'll quite look forward to doing that uh, we'll get the old uh, buffing wheel out and uh, do some uh, some cleaning up something else which I found which I really rather like I have actually um, been looking out for these I had one quite early on when I started smoking the pipe um, and I think I'm not sure, I think they date from between anywhere from between the 30s and maybe right through to the, perhaps the 60s but it is a pipe rest that is a very small armchair and I think it is rather rather splendid and uh, obviously you sit with your pipe in it like that um, and it's it's ideal because um, as you can see that is a, a rather large bowl and it sits in there very nicely and again it will take a, a pipe with a smaller bowl quite quite well it's nice and stable and uh, yeah again I picked though this this is the sort of thing I pick up from a I think I've had one from a, an antiques market and one from a, an antique shop somewhere just for a few pounds um, and they're, they're, they're made out of um, it's, it's a pottery thing and as you can see on the bottom it's it's actually hollow and the um, in fact yeah uh, anyway so the um, it is in fact hollow and it's pottery and this is a green one and I've also got a sort of a beigey sort of um, pinky orangey sort of coloured one and it's in the style of Silvac pottery, which is it's that kind of glaze that they did in the sort of um, you know pre just pre-war and um, right up to sort of the 50s. So that's quite pleasing. Um, so what else? Uh, yes, um, I found that I have been, as usual, enjoying St Bruno um, as a general all all the time smoke. Um, but I've tried a few others, and amongst which I've been trying some um, Condor Long Cut, um, which is uh, a fairly strong um, flake tobacco. They're short flakes, um, and there's, there's plenty of reviews on on uh, on this elsewhere. Um, so I'm not going to go too far into it, but say it's a very, very nice, um, a fairly strong uh, blend, which um, I think. Um, let's just have a look. Um, no, I can't. 
I'm not entirely sure what's in the stuff, but it's a nice dark, nice dark flake, short flake, um, and I think it's a mixture of um, air cured and I'm not entirely sure. Is that any, anyway, it's a very nice, um, a very rich tobacco. Uh, I say there's plenty of reviews elsewhere on this, but um, I've just bought 25 grams to try for the time being, so that's been enjoyable. And something I've gone back to, two things in fact, two tobaccos, um, is the um, Baron's Vanilla Cream. I've gone back to that. I've started off on, on that years years ago um, and I thought now I've sort of settled into my sort of favourite tobaccos and things I thought I'd go back to that and revisit that um, and I, I've really enjoyed it um, I've refined my smoking slightly and I'm able to pick up flavours a bit better now I think and um, uh, particularly from from that um, I, have to say, I think it's it has to be smoked carefully to, to get the um, the benefits from it, but um, the, the flavours, um, you know, they're, they're quite subtle. Um, as with a lot of um, aromatics, they, they don't really last the full bowl. I found the last quarter of the bowl it came became slightly sort of a little bit sour and well, not particularly good, but um, all the same, quite enjoyable. First, first, um, first part of the bowl, especially, is very flavoursome, and. Also, I have been enjoying, again, some um, Erinmore Flake. Um, well, anyway, apologise for the lighting. I'm doing this in a fairly dull room with a, just a lamp on. It's not ideal, but um, anyway. So, Erinmore Flake, um, which, again, I really enjoy. Um, it's um, sort of... Uh, I suppose it is fruity. It, it actually has a bit of a licorice um, element to it, especially um, from the tin when you smell the flakes. It really has a, a nice sort of um, almost like a licorice all sort um, aroma to it, and um, it is in fact, uh, as it says on the tin, Virginia and Burley tobaccos, um, a, fr a fruity blend of. So um, I think that's fairly correct. Um, and again, that's that's really quite delicious. Um, a nice traditional old school uh, blend, which has been smoked for quite a number of years. So um, yeah, I've been really enjoying that. So um, I'll just have a quick uh, a quick slurp of tea in my um, Claris Cliff inspired mug. I've got a set of these. I really love those. Very striking design, and they're. A nice, um, nice angular um, handle there. Very Art Deco. Just my kind of thing. Um, so yes, a um, couple of pipes to work on. Um, still enjoying the smoking. Um, don't smoke mm, that much really, but I enjoy what I smoke, and um, I think. Uh, I'd like to try lots of other different tobaccos, but um, I enjoy what I smoke, and I think the thing is, um, I tend to get, the, I love to get the taste of a tobacco, I like to get to know it, I don't think, I'm not the sort of person who can pick up um, the full um, sort of uh, experience of a tobacco um, after two or three bowls, I have to keep on smoking a blend just to get to know it, and decide whether I'm indeed going to keep smoking it, or or, or that I don't really like it. So, um, so uh, yeah. Um, what else can I have a lot to tell you? So I say six months since I made my last film. Um, I'm in fact making this film on my new um, tablet machine tappy thing, which um, seems to be okay. The picture seems a little grainy, um, but the lighting, as I say, it's it's very poor at the moment. It's obviously in the evening, so. Um, I hope this uh, comes across reasonably well. As I say, thanks to people that have subscribed. Um, I will endeavour to try and keep up with comments and um, any messages or anything I get. And 
uh, I shall continue to enjoy all of your splendid videos. Um, I don't think I'd ever find enough time in the day to watch everything that comes through, but um, I'm always impressed with the variety and it's great entertainment, um, keeping the hobby going and um, you know there's some uh, lovely pipes that people are lucky enough to be able to, to purchase and enjoy. Um, my collection is gradually growing, um, and, and I love to um, you know see what I find, and uh, um, you know I like to work on on doing a few little bits of rest restoration, and uh, so um, anyway, I've rambled on quite long enough for this evening. Um, as I say, I hope you're all okay. Um, hope you're all enjoying your pipes, um, and I hope to make another film soon, and uh, I hope we bring you some updates on these. Uh, little bits of pipe restoration and uh, so I shall say cheerio for now keep the pipes puffing and the cameras rolling good night